So digital journey uh, for any organization has to touch almost all the pillars uh, uh, of its value chain. For somebody like Starbucks, the typically there are four pillars, the customer, the, the, the brand, the partners and the supply chain. Um, so insightful data all across its components is actually very, very helpful because digital transformation is what all about is just using uh, the newer technologies and to help business grow faster. Now, uh, the first fundamental of that uh, would be getting a good view of what our baseline is, whether uh, what is our customer demand looks like, what is our you know, inventory looks like, what is my, my brand looks like, and what is my, you know, uh, the partner sentiment looks like. So insightful data, having the right architecture, having the right data foundational element, whether it's data lake, whether it's your cloud uh, uh, based uh, data architecture or whether it's the then for you know the AI all of three are very important to be able to drive a digital transformation in an, any, any organization these days what is happening is that a lot of the uh, the businesses need to focus on the business itself right so they they can't be dealing with the issues around scalability or challenges with the typical on-premise infrastructure which is there so having cloud native applications give them then uh, that uh, scalability robustness agility uh, the innovation that typically is lacking in any uh, in any on-premise applications. So, for example, one of the things that we have done, we have adopted uh, one of the cloud uh, native uh, data, uh, you know, uh, architecture component called Synapse. Uh, this actually gives us a lot of capabilities in terms of scalability. Uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, there are 300 store partners who are actually accessing all their business intelligence reports every day. We need to make sure that they actually get those reports every day on time and are able to access those all in the same, uh, you know, with that same speed and agility. If we don't have that cloud native application or data architecture, then all this will not be possible. So hence, as I said, the, the focus of the stakeholders who are consuming those outputs from their application has to move from, you know, to actioning and decision making and defining next steps for their respective areas. And then uh, unless we have that, then they will all be stuck in like the grunt work, right, in terms of the application not loading or the data is not accurate and it doesn't scale up or it's not agile. So I think hence I feel uh, cloud is a very key component when we talk about data transformation or digital transformation in an, any organization. One of the things as I think in today, in the today's uh, entire conference, we've been debating about uh, should we do data collection or we should do a data connection. I think one of the uh, panelists talked about that. So I think irrespective of that, uh, whether which uh, strategy an organization chooses depending on their size or depending on the business objectives, I think having a scalable data architecture where let's say, for example, we are on the side where we are collecting, being a small organization, having a less complex application architecture, we are actually collecting. So to, to, to have an architecture where we are able to collect all the data in a timely manner, then do all the analytics on top of that and make it visible uh, to all our stakeholders down the stream has actually been really helpful. Now, uh, uh, if we didn't have that, if we didn't have that architecture where not only really collecting data, but also then making it uh, accessible and visible to other applications. Right? Tomorrow, let's say uh, one of the things that, you know, maybe one of the BUs come back and say, oh, I want uh, this all this data for my reconciliation activities. So tomorrow somebody wants to do this for inventory. Then, you know, or tomorrow somebody wants to do a more uh, advanced demand analytics on top of that. Right? Then now I have all the data in one place. It's very easy for me to give it to that. Uh, or not only that, I, I'm able to not only have, uh, you know, people call democratization, uh, you know, or accessibility, I call. So we have created accessibility of the data. Data, uh, through this, uh, you know, uh, right data architecture, but also being the cloud, we've also made it scalable um, for people to use, for people to access, for people to do analytics. Now I, I can keep adding more and more components, which are cloud native components around AI ML, and hence I can just, uh, you know, uh, progress in all the capabilities that are typical uh, data architecture that we envisioned for.